Now I'm going to preface this. If you have a queasy stomach, if you get get queasy easy, this video is not for you. It's going to get gross pretty quick. So I just want to forewarn y'all guys. But for those of y'all who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Sinbad. And it's been a while since I uploaded. I can't even tell you the last time I uploaded. But today I was like, this is something that I need to tell y'all because I just can't believe that this actually happened. Um, I'm still kind of in disbelief. I'm in shock. It happened yesterday. So yeah, it's fresh in my mind. So let's get started. So I'm just going to be straight up real. Yesterday, I was out. It was the nightlife, right? I'm out here in Korea. And I was like, hey, let me partake in the time travel juice. Now, if you don't know what time travel juice is, it's soju, right? One of the most popular alcohols in the world. And the thing about soju is that it creeps up on you like a ninja. It will get you really quickly. Um, and you won't even see it coming. You'll think that you're good when you drink a little bit. And the next thing you know, you're gone. So I get one bottle. I drink it. I said, uh, this ain't enough. I'm not feeling it. I decided to get another bottle. Now, the type that I got was the red cap. You have three different caps. You have the green cap, you have the blue cap, and then you have the red cap. Now, green cap is kind of like you know what you're getting into. Okay, cool. Blue cap, all right, maybe a little stronger, but it's going to get you there. Red cap, you don't know what percentage is in there, right? It's, it's random. It's like a lottery. It's like a, a EA loot box, you know? So I had two of those. I don't even know what percentage I got, but all I know is... I made a decision to go to one of my favorite massage parlors, not the happily ever after ones, not the ones where, where they do the, uh, the weird stuff, but this is one of the ones where they'll actually, you know, clip your toenails and, and clean your ears and shave your face and stuff like that. Like it's, it's really like a body treatment place. I love this area. Right. So I go there, talk to the lady. I'm like, Hey, you know, this is what I want, blah, blah, blah. She's like, okay, cool. She hands me some pajamas. Right. So when you go there, you got to put the pajamas on. And then you'll get your feet washed, right? So I go in the room. They give you privacy. <clears throat> they give you privacy. Excuse me. And I'm sitting there getting dressed. And I lay on the bed. And I'm like, dude, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. My head is spinning. My stomach's in my mouth. I feel like I feel hot and heavy. I just, I was like, man, I'm starting to feel sick. But there's something in me that's like, nah. You've already made it this far. You need to push through and then I can just go home and go to sleep. You got this. It's not going to be long. It'll probably be like, what, an hour? You're good. What I didn't realize is that the entire time I didn't drink any water. I was completely dehydrated and all I had in my system was alcohol. Okay, awesome. And to top that, I drunk on an empty stomach. Nice. So... She comes in a room. She looks at me. I'm laying on the bed. I'm, I look like I'm just lost. I'm out of it. She's like, hey, hey, we're ready to clean your feet. I'm like, oh, oh okay. All right. So I muster myself off of the bed. The room's spinning. I'm feeling like absolutely sick, but I swallow down anything, any, any type of throw up that was going to come up. I was like, okay, I must be good, right? So I go in there. And once you go into this, this room, they're going to wash your feet in. And it's going to have like this colorful water, right? A colorful water in a bowl. Put your feet in there. It's nice and hot. They're going to get their soap. They're going to spray your foot. They're going to like wash it off. They're going to talk to you, right? So we just start talking. And halfway through the conversation, I'm just like, bro, stop talking to me. Please stop talking to me. Like, I, I can't even think properly right now. Like, thinking about even one plus one burns so much energy and makes me feel like, like so nauseous, right? So like in my head, I'm just like, please stop talking, lady. Please stop talking, lady. She kept talking. And at one point, she had asked me a question, right? And then she went to say something else. Now, you know, like, where you're about to, you, you form your lips before you say something, right? Like, you kind of you kind of just shape what you're going to say before you even say it. Well, she said something with an O, right? So her mouth was, like, completely open, basically. And at that moment, I just said, <laughs> I projectile vomited straight into her mouth. And as I'm projectile vomiting, I, I try to close my mouth. I try to close my lips really quick so that like I can just like swallow it down. But the, the impact, the pressure, the force that was unleashing from my stomach pushed through my lips and it turned from a stream into a, a, a buckshot shotgun. Like it just it just sprayed everywhere. So not only did it go in her mouth, but it went on her forehead, it went in her hair. 
It got on her on her arms. So she's sitting there in shock. She's in complete shock right now. I'm in complete shock. Also, I couldn't believe that it just happened. I'm having like like disconnection from reality at this point. I'm like, oh my gosh, did that just actually happen? As I'm sitting there with throw up on my mouth and my arms. Because not only did I get it on her, I got it on me. So I look like a little toddler right now, right? So then she's in shock. But shortly after, I'll wake her up out of her shock with another stream of throw up, right? So she she just jumps. She's like, oh my God, this is, act-. she's like, it's actually happening. Like, I'm not in a dream. Pinch me. This isn't a nightmare. Okay. I need to get out of the way. She quickly unplugs the freaking water from the, from the, um, the bowl that I had my feet in. Now, note the colorful water that was once in there is no longer colorful. It went from purple to gray real quick. All right. It, it, it did not look pretty at all. So she literally reached her hand in there and just, you know, made sure that it was draining. And as she got up, she literally was like walking like a statue all the way to the bathroom. Like she just couldn't believe that she had throw up all on her arms. Have you ever seen that challenge? Or it's not even like a challenge. It's kind of like a prank where they'll get their kids and then like they'll put Nutella inside of an orange and tell them to stick their finger in it. And they're like, what do you think it is? I don't know. And then they'll pull the orange out and then they'll have like the dog his butt like right there and she's like yeah you just stuck your finger up his butt and like they freeze that's literally how like she was acting the entire time and as she goes the lady from the front desk that gave me my pajamas comes up to the to the uh the bowl and she's just like literally just staring she's like oh my god and then as she's staring at me i just right and as i'm throwing up she just closes her eyes and she's like i cannot believe this happened now, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Moral of the story is, um, you know, don't drink soju before you go uh, to your favorite massage place because now I can never show my face there again. Even though, like, me and the lady are cool now. We're, we're actually pretty, like, pretty tight. Um, I feel really bad because she's going to remember that for, like, the rest of her life. And, like, the next person that comes in there, it might be, like, some random lady. She's like, man, I really hope she doesn't throw up on me. But yeah, tell me what you think of the story. Um, I felt like I just needed to tell you this because um, I'm still in shock about the fact that I threw up all over her. Yeah, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. And stay away from the soju. It'll get you.